Welcome to Doug Does Stuff, I'm Doug, and today we're doing more 3D printing in order to get my workshop wall covered in multi-board. What is multi-board? Well, it's that thing back there, it's that thing right there. It's basically a pegboard system that you 3D print with all sorts of attachments. I've already printed uh, that one, then a small one over there. And then the other day I used my Ender 3 Pro um, to print a stack of four. Well, a couple problems I can see already. It looks like this corner is warped up. I can tell because I can get that underneath there. Usually um, these things are pretty solid on there. It looks like there's a lot of layer lines. So we're going to go ahead and try and get this off of here. Now, I've used this and I, I've scraped it up pretty good in the past, the, the glass bed. I know this is just going to pop off, but I actually had, I actually had an idea. Um, my idea was, hey, this stuff is strong enough to cut my fingers every time I go out fishing. Why not use it to separate a print from the glass bed? So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to take out some of this um, braided fishing line. This is 30 pound. Hold on one second. All right, here we go. So we got this braided fishing line. And I wonder if I can just get it underneath there. And just pull it. God, God it hurts. It, that really hurts. I'm going to cut my hands off doing that. So uh, what I thought would be a good idea, turning out not so much. Uh, that is just stuck on there. So I guess it's back to popping it off with that. But you can see, <laughs> don't do the fishing line trick. That really hurt. Um, you can see that, it, you know, I've, I've gouged it out in little pieces here and there. But this stack of four is now off so um let's get it apart all right sorry for the sudden uh shift in camera angle but i figured this would probably be better let's see does that help with on on or off there doesn't really anyway if you uh are looking at this trying to get oh yeah see you can see the layer lines and there are four different uh grids here. There's one, two, three, four. Printing them in a stack of four. And you, you're supposed to be able to just pull them apart. So let's do that and see. Whew, that one, that corner is tough. Holy cow, that came right apart. Let's see, how does that compare to the one we already printed here? So this is the one that we already printed. Yeah, I still have the same layer lines. On this side, I don't have the layer lines as bad as that side. Telling me I probably don't have the most level of bed. And I gotta do some adjustments down here. It's looking like the same exact issue. That there are uh, layer lines on one side and not layer lines on the other. But cool so that came right apart let's keep on going uh, Jonathan the creator says that if it doesn't come apart you can use a screwdriver to get it started and I'm thinking nope got that one off too wow that came apart really easy I'm gonna do the screwdriver trick just to show you it says if you get in I don't know if you can see it right there right with the two and you can just put a little bit of pressure to pry up. It should pop. Yep, there it is. And do this corner right here. Yep. All right, cool. My wife does not like all of these popping sounds. Says I'm going to wake up the kid. So sorry if I do. All right. Look at that. Came right apart. Holy cow. So if you watch the. Uh, first part uh, you saw that I started this print and it was going to take a long time uh, two days 
eight hours, 47 minutes. It took two days, five hours and 43 minutes. And I ended up with four core tiles. All right, that's what these are. These are the core tiles that have the little uh, diamonds on one side and they just kind of fit in together like so. And then you got to print all the standoffs and, and put them up there. Now one side is definitely better than the other. Oh, that fits better. Um, I don't know if you can see that on there. Hold on. Uh, let me try zooming in here. Well, that's better. So you can see that it's not the nicest of prints right there on that side. Go to this side, it's a lot smoother. I did turn on ironing. Um, and I think it really made a difference here. Again, there's that side and then the bottom side, I would imagine. This one's in better shape than the others. Maybe that was the bottom. Again. And then boom. All right, so. I now have here one, two, uh, one, two, core, core, and this is my corner tile. Corner tile, a lot of honeycomb here, is the one that doesn't have any of the diamonds. You start that off, and then you start plugging them together. All right, cool. All right, anyway, um, so yeah, that took, like I said, two days to do. Uh, zoom you back out here and I've got a lot to do I think I need like 45 tiles or something like crazy like that which means it's going to take a long time so uh, I did something I went out and on Facebook marketplace I got myself an Ender 3 V2 Neo that I am currently waiting for some parts for and I'm going to set that up that supposedly is going to be able to print twice as fast as as this guy over here and uh, speed the process up. So anyway, that's a, a quick update as to where we are. Really not any further uh, in, in doing work on the wall uh, than before. We're just further along in printing these cool little things. Um, I did go through, I do want to show you this actually, take you off here. Um, I, this was a brand new roll of Elegoo, Elego, and it was one kilo. Those four tiles brought me down just under 700 grams. So it looks like I used just a little more than 300 grams per four uh, tiles. Probably going to need another one of those. Anyway, that's that. Hope you like if you do, like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.